such an easy finish and that could be the goal that puts us through to the next round of the FA Cup. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Season 3, Episode 3 of Valley Deep, Mountain High, the Woodgate Valley FC story. So in the last episode, FA Cup Fever swept over Woodgate Valley. We played in both the extra preliminary round and the preliminary round, which means that in today's episode, you're going to see us playing the first qualifying round against Belper. We're also going to have league action against Boldmere and against Romulus. But before we get into the footage, if you're enjoying the channel and you're enjoying the story so far, please consider hitting the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with everything that's going on at Woodgate Valley. And if you have any comments about anything that you want to know about the league or the players or how the saves going in general, leave a comment down below. I'll try and get back to as many of you as I can. So with that said, let's get this FA Cup game up and running and we'll be into our first match action. With the FA Cup first qualifying round game upon us, this is the lineup that we are going to be playing in that game. We have Little in goal, Luto at left back, Callow and Hayes at centre back, Marsh at right back. We'll have Neald and Masendo in the centre of the park. Sam's wide left, Graham wide right, Foyle in behind Douglas. Your fingers crossed will fire us into the second round of this qualifying for the FA Cup. So the match is up and running, and it is even Stevens at the moment. First 15, 16 minutes have wielded no highlights, but the 18th minute does. They've got the ball in the box. Akeem Sams has scored against Belper, and that is a brilliant goal to start us off. Foyle gets the ball. Woodcock takes it off him, but hits it straight off the back of his own player. Foyle's quick thinking gets it to Graham. Sams' right-footed shot goes past the goalkeeper into the bottom corner to give us the lead early on in the game. And hopefully we're going to build on that now because looking at these stats, Belper really aren't in it at the moment. Got little with a goal kick and that's rubbish. <laughs> Just as I was saying, they weren't in it. A rubbish goal kick from Little comes straight back and Belper have equalised straight away. And then we're forced to defend again. Let's see what Little does this time. It's another poor free goal kick. Sorry, not free kick. Comes straight back to us, but Sam's is now running at the defence. They take the ball off him before Masendo jumps in. Doesn't take the ball. Woodcock plays it over. Callow clears his lines. Marsh now plays it to Foyle. He plays the ball over the top. Sam's pounces on it. And Douglas misses from inside the box. Thought that would have been the moment we would have retaken the lead there. Rio Douglas. It's probably easier to score than it was to miss there. It's anywhere else in the goal. I think we're in the lead. Instead, it's it down low. The goalkeeper had already guessed the right way. And the score stays 1-1 at half-time. So we're not going to make any changes for the second half. We're just going to put the lads out as they are. Don't think anybody's in any distress or needs to come off. And everybody's played well up until this point. Hopefully we can carve out another chance. Got to throw in Foyle, Graham, Neald. Marsh is going to run at his man. Crosses it in. Graham has the snapshot. Keeper deals with it well. And then they try to turn it into a counter-attack. But Sam's played the ball to Masendo. He's tried the ball over the top, but it wasn't very good. And now Duffy's played it to Smith. Masendo with the ball over the top. Douglas finds Sam's. Cuts it back inside to Masendo. He's had a shot from distance, and that's not far wide. Right footed, down low. Goalkeeper didn't have it covered, so was creeping in. Would have scored, but unfortunately he puts it wide. So might freshen up a few of the players here. Elliot Newby's going to come on in place of Graham. We're also going to put Sam Sheridan on in the middle of the park. And I think Scott Sinclair can come on and play behind Rio Douglas. So 10 minutes to go. Don't know if we get replays in the qualifying rounds or whether it just has to be finished on the day. It's three minutes left and they've got a goal kick. 
comes to Sinclair, who plays it out to Sam's. Tries to cross, but gets deflected into the path of Luto, who puts it to the back post, and Elliot Newby is there to tap the ball in. Such an easy finish, and that could be the goal that puts us through to the next round of the FA Cup and continues this cup fever that has swept over Woodgate. It's a brilliant ball, he's timed his one really well. And the empty goal is there for him to just tap the ball into. So, with the added on time elapsed, good time to score in the 91st minute. Not much time for them to reply, and we are putting our names in the hat for the next round of the cup. We're going to leave that there. We're going to move on forward and play the next game, which is against Boldmere, and hopefully get three more points on the board to continue our good run in the league. The next game in this episode is going to be against Boldmere. This is the lineup we're going to pick. We've got Little in goal, Luto at left back, Callow, Hayes, and Marsh at right back. Masendo and Neil are going to play in the middle. Sam's newbie after he scored in the last game, and Graham. And then Rio Douglas is going to lead the attack up front. So not a lot happening in this game at the moment. Boldmere are the first ones to have any shots on target. And we fly through the first 20 minutes of the game with nothing happening. Both teams 50-50 on the ball. Both with an XG of 0.08. We've had the first shot on target. It's not looking like a very eventful game. However, there's a goal kick that's played out. Graham plays the ball over the top. Douglas is in. Just when I was saying it was an event for Rio, Douglas pounces on the ball, scores his 11th goal of the season and puts us 1-0 up in the game. It's a great header by Hayes. Graham with the vision to just hit it first time over the defender. And once Douglas is in on goal, goalkeeper goes to Graham really early. And it's a really tidy finish. We've got defending to do. The corner that comes in is headed out towards Douglas. He steals the ball and he's now in a leg race against the defender. Beats one man off, crosses the ball in. Sam's has hit the post. And that was almost a quick fire. 1 2 with Douglas turning provider this time. But Sam's couldn't get the finishing touch. Plays it against the post. And that was really unlucky. It was a great counter attack from us there. So as the ball comes in. There's an equaliser for Boltmere, where there is a little bit of attention that had dropped or something. There was a cross that came in. The man was on marks, just so footy into the net. They draw a level. And now it's all of a sudden us that are trying to do the defending. Ball comes in again. Callow plays it away. It only comes out as far as Butterworth. And they're passing it about now with confidence, Boltmere. Somebody needs to make a tackle or try and get the ball back. There's a ball over the top and it's hit the outside of the post this time. And that's a clear let off because they should be scoring. I really think they should be in the lead there with that. And all of a sudden, we were struggling to get out of our half. We've got a counter attack going here. Douglas is running at his man. He goes to ground. Referee points at the spot. He's going to step up and take it himself. Rio Douglas smacks the ball low and hard. Into the back of the net. Restores the 2-1 lead. And it's a perfectly placed penalty. Goalkeeper had no chance. And it's his second goal of the game. So this is a pretty even game. I think Boldmere, if they do end up losing, would feel quite hard done by because the stats show that we have been even... In pretty much everything, it's possession stats, shots, just the, the fact we've got Rio Douglas up front means that we've got a 2-1 lead. And then Sims is in, and Akeem Sams has had a shot. Keeper pushes it away. Newby with the corner, gets headed away as well. Sender wins the leg race, but gets kicked out for a throw in. And that's the end of that highlight. So with the corner coming in, ball's headed away. Sender picks it back up, but he's lost it. And now Jones has played in Agiakwa. And I thought we'd scored an end goal there. The ball's hit the inside of the post. And it's come across, lashed it away. But for a second I thought it would kicked it and put it in the net. But it doesn't matter. The final whistle's gone. We pick up another three points. 
as we move on in the league. Very satisfying knowing that we are beating some of these teams, even though that was more of a 50-50 game. I'm enjoying the way we're playing in this division. Now, in a slight change to the schedule, we're going to skip past the Romulus game because we've noticed that the FA Cup second qualifying round has been scheduled just after that game. So we're actually drawn, drawn against Hensford Town. So what we're going to do is skip Romulus, go to Hensford Town, and then finish the video there. Here we go then. FA Cup FIFA is upon us again as we play Hensford today in that second qualifying round. The team we're going to put out to play them is Little in goal, Luto, Callow, Hayes and Marsh at right back. Masendo and Neald are going to play in the middle. Sams, Newby and Graham of the attacking midfield three. In behind Rio Douglas who got two in a previous game that you missed against Romulus where we won 2-1 just to bring you up to date. Uh, I've seen all kinds of things from the press in the run to this game about how we got no chance with the underdogs and everything. I just hope we put up a good fight in this game and hopefully we can sneak a win and push on through into the next round. It's been a slow start to the game but the first highlight that comes in is a penalty given away by Neald. It's not a great start. Isa runs up, he scores, and hence for town. A living up to their favourites tag by scoring the first goal of the game. Up until that point, it'd been pretty uneventful for the first 10 minutes. Got a throw in, gets cut out, it's cleared away. It really could do with stealing the ball here. Rain is pouring down. Luto then picks it up, tries to play it forward, it gets cut out. And now it's, they play it forward, it's cut out. Neil pushes the ball over the top, Douglas is in, and Rio Douglas has equalised. Our kit that we're playing in today is the snazzy third kit. I think this might be the first time that I've seen it on camera. I think we've only played in it three times in the first three seasons. So, <laughs> just to prove that it is there. And Rio Douglas t took his chance so well there. Goalkeeper probably should have done a bit better. The ball comes off him and goes in the far post, but Rio Douglas is a finisher and a half. And this club is so much better for having him up front. So coming to half time, the extra two minutes were added on. Didn't really come to anything. So I'm not going to change anybody. Players should hopefully be feeling very proud of themselves to be holding the team that we were given no chance against to a draw at half time. Let's just hope that we can push on. We're, we're certainly creating enough. We've had 10 shots, only the three on target though. Whereas Hensford have had eight and three on target. We're having so much of the ball, which I didn't expect for a team that are uh, a couple of divisions above us. I thought that they were to be outplaying us completely, but we have had so much of the ball. And then just like that, we go 2 1 down. Although I'm for, unfortunately for Hensford, fortunately for us, flag goes up, goal gets disallowed, and we can breathe again. However, this time, cross comes in. A backer, Isa, scored the penalty early on, scored a header that looks like it's going to give us all sorts of trouble in terms of getting through to the next round. However, we have got an attack. Neil plays the ball forward, he gets cut out. And now we're caught on the break and Isa doesn't score this time. However, he crosses it back in, Little picks it up and we are going to need something special here to get anything from the game. Three minutes added on. And finally, our cup run ends at the second qualifying phase at the hands of Hensford. Media were right, we're not as good as them. We are several divisions below, I think they, what division are they in? So they're a Northern Premier League division team. So they are expected to be beating us quite comfortably. Proud of the lads for putting up the fight that they did. Thought we gave a good account of ourselves. And I'm pretty happy with how far we got in that little cup run. We have still got the FA Vars coming up as well. So fingers crossed we have a good run in that. And yeah, that's it. So let's have a little look at the schedule and see where we can jump out and jump back in right then so looking at the schedule 
We have got the FA Vars second qualifying round game coming up there. However, I think we're going to skip on and push to around December in the league. Try and get a bulk of these games in the league played. See if we can't get any progress. Continue our great run of wins in the league. Yeah, maybe come back around the Starport game or the Black Country game and see what the team and the table looks like around that point. One last thing to note before we go is Rio Douglas, it said, had played 50 games for the club now. So let's have a look at Rio Douglas because I take it's 50 games overall. So in 49 career games, he now stands at 61 goals. That is ridiculous. So he scored 49 in 36 last season. He's already on 12 in 10 this season. What a find. What a find from our scouts. So on that note, we're going to leave the video there. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to hit the thumbs up. If you want to stay up to date with everything Woodgate Valley, please hit the subscribe button. If you've got any comments or you want to chat about the save in any way, leave a comment in the box below. I'll get back to as many of you as I can. Until the next episode, stay safe. I'll see you soon.